Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you guys? Welcome to class number 22. This is class number 22. Today is Friday, October 29th. Hello, hello. Me escuchan, chicos. Ya empezamos la clase. A ver si pueden encender las cámaras, por favor. All be good. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we are nine. Hi, Jocelyn, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm pretty well. And you? I'm doing awesome. It's today Friday. Today was a payday. <laughs> and today yeah, was a payday. Today was payday, it's true, but uh, I didn't like it. Uh, me too, but anyway. I was expecting a lot more. <laughs> Rich people. Rich people. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what happened today? For the what? first time in my life, I got two zeros in quality. Two zeros. Mm. What happened? <laughs> how do you, how, how, how your company deal the auto zeros there? the account how does your company they, did they put a warning on you deal with our deal zeros with that. Yeah. sometimes they fire people i mean it wasn't my fault one of them was because of a ghost call a ghost call there was nobody mm -hmm. on the line they couldn't hear me i couldn't hear them there's nothing on the recording more than weird sounds like <laughs> That was weird. In my case, I guess I will receive a DA soon because um, on Wednesday, I went to lunch. There was a lot of ready available. I went to lunch, but I didn't book on lunch cup. So I, I received calls. When I come back from my lunch, I was like, oh my God, I got a call on the line. So I just told, I told to my supervisor and he told me, why did you didn't book on lunch? And I didn't remember this, I did or not. So I maybe I will receive a punishment, a DA, I guess. Oh my God, that's crazy. I was watching a movie and I- You know, you know what's this? There was a lot of, really. There was a lot of availability, really? Yes, maybe like 14 minutes. So I was watching nah. a movie because sometimes I get bored, you know? I, I've been there. I've been there. I've I've done that too on Saturdays. But right now we're back to back. I mean, one call after the other. There are like 20 calls waiting sometimes. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of work right now. That's why they're paying like $14 an hour. It's crazy. I will but, do it. Yeah. Overtime. A lot of overtime. But I don't have time. 
Actually, I did I did have the time today, but after these two zeros, uh, uh, we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, guys, let me do the attendance now that we are 13. I don't know how many will be in the class. Today is Friday, and unfortunately, we are Salvadorians, and we typically go like, oh, it's Friday. It's payday. Let's go somewhere. Let's go out. You have responsibilities, things to do. Anyways, let's go with the attendance first. Ada Susena Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Andrade Lagos. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Excuse my dyslexia. It's not here yet. Okay, Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Okay, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present teacher. Hope you're doing better. Josue Alberto Salas Benitez. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Good evening. Good evening. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Okay. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Excellent. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. There's Wendy. Welcome, Heidi. Welcome, Irwin. Good evening, teacher. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you. So, sorry, teacher. Good evening. My it's person. okay. It's okay. You're at work, still at work. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, where were we? Teacher, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if you heard. It's okay. You're at work, right? Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Okay, where were we? Come on, guys. Where were we? What do you remember about yesterday's class? We watched a video about branding. We okay. resolved some exercise of the book. We resolved some exercises in group. Okay, what else did we do? Mm. Uh, how, how to start a brand, the, the, the factors or the, or the parts of that compound a brand. Which, where? Name, logo, colors. Really? Mm. That's what the video said. That's what you remember I, from the video. I remember that he made some questions related to uh, what do you want to sell? Uh, the website, and there is must be a website ah. in your company, yes. in your brand. Wait, 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 wait,
site, website, 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 website. Yes. Website. No quiero que me lo vaya a ver yes. mal un gringo. No quiero que me lo vaya a ver mal un gringo. <laughs> Cuidado. Eh. Uh -huh. yes. Fernando, what? Well, the, 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 the main topic was the, the causative verbs. I don't know. We have four causative verbs. I, if I remember, make, Co let. Causative. Causative, Co causative verbs. Uh, let, causative. make, helps. And helps or help? Help, help, help. Uh -huh. It's the pen of the, of the pronoun. Uh -huh. And what is the, the last? What's the other one? Who remembers? Good let. job. Good job for make, let, help, and let. Let, let. Okay. With, which ones are strictly for infinitives? Make, let, I'm sorry, make, get, help, let, make, get, help, let. Which ones do you use only with infinitives? Get. Get and let. Get and let. Mm. <laughs> mm. Only get. Mm. <laughs> Come on, don't hesitate. Just get. Just get. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's that's something to remember. That's something to remember. All the time you have to keep pressing. Yeah. With help, you can take the decision if you want to use infinitives or a base verb. But with make, um, it's just the base verb. And with get, you need the infinitive. You need to. Very good. To love, to feel, to get. You gotta get. Hmm. Okay. That was the point. So, and then what, what else did we do? We went in groups, right? And we talked about identifying the components of the, the brand strategy of a national brand. We talked about brand awareness, perceived quality, brand associations, brand loyalty, and proprietary assets. Remember? Yes. Okay. Then we've read the conversations, right? Yes. What was the conversation about? The cinnamon soda. <laughs> the new refresh. <laughs> it compares the Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Yes. <laughs> cinnamon soda, right? Okay. Now, at last, we had a little chart about brand recall, recognition, top of mind, brand dominance, and unknown brand. Tonight, um, let me see, the main topic is stages of brand awareness. What are the stages of brand awareness? We will get there, but to warm up, to warm up, Let's choose someone with an open question. <clears throat> What's that noise? <laughs> There's a noise on the class. I'm getting scared. We're close to Halloween. Stop making that noise, whoever it is. Oh, Johnny. Are you sick? Yeah, Johnny, are you sick? <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> You're scaring the class. Stop making noises. Oh, my God. Okay. So, let's see. An open question. You know what? More than an open question, I would like you to study the causative verbs. Okay? So, how do we do it? Think of a question. Um, a topic, actually. 
I want to make you a question where you can use causative verbs. Now, let's come out of the normal thing, you know, using subjects. Nah, let's use figures. And I, you went through this topic on basic four. If you have been on the English for Work program, on basic four, you may have seen something related to the passive voice, a little bit of um, what happens when you do this. I'm not talking about the action. Les estoy hablando de la acción, pero ¿qué pasa si haces esto? What happens if you do this? This is your subject. You get a hangover. Think about causative verbs. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, how do you say? You, you get cons concerned to concern to, <clears throat> to your relatives. Drinking too much alcohol. No, no, no. Okay. Drinking too much alcohol makes you people uh huh people uh, dummy hey what's next remember the subject causative verb i am someone and then the base form the base form of a verb yes. drinking too much alcohol makes people uh, <laughs> oh, come on, get worried. No. I was thinking about something else. Okay, but that's cool. That's cool. Drinking too much alcohol makes people get worried. Okay. What else? Drinking too much alcohol makes people do stupid things. <laughs> True or false? It's true, right? Okay. Drinking too much alcohol makes people do stupid things, dummy things, like when they are walking, you know, and it's like the they're moving the floor, right? Okay. Try try this. Try this. Can you can you continue? Mm -hmm. The same sentence. sentence. Yeah. Try to use um this is called present participle verbs as nouns gerund this is called gerunds as nouns you see that's what we're doing right now you need to use a gerund as a noun what's the gerund drinking okay Another example, being healthy. Uh huh. Help. Helps. Helps. Everybody, People. come on. <laughs> Señores, ya empezamos la clase. Veo que varios de ustedes están viendo un partido de fútbol, una película, o le están hablando al cipote. No olviden, señorita, los niños, por favor, de la esposa. Díganle, ahorita estoy ocupado con la otra. Díganle. Con la clase de inglés, pero no, no, aclaren a tiempo. Ok, good. So, okay. Come on. Ok, being healthy helps. Uh, help your body. Or... Excellent. That's someone. Your body. Uh -huh. Your body. Uh... B. Be stronger. Uh, okay. Being a good shape. Uh, uh, being, being in good shape. Mm, uh, I don't know. Helps your body. Uh, be, what is it? Uh, improve shape. your performance. Ah, helps your body improve. Mm. Improve. Teacher. Hey. Come on. Um, improve your performance. 
Boost. Boost your bones. Yeah, that sounds bust. very, that sounds more prone. Bust. Okay. Impro helps your body bust. Perform. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No bad. Bust with two O? No. No, no. <laughs> Bus. Google it. Bust. I remember in the games when you press boost. Uh huh. Uh huh. True. Okay. Being healthy helps you body. Ah, yes. With two O. S T. Boost. I'm dyslexic right now. Sorry. Being healthy helps your body boost performance. Boost its performance. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, give me an example. You move on. Uh, um, studying English. <laughs> okay. Why not? Studying English. English studying English. Get opens. More... No, studying English. Get more opportunities to you. No. Someone. Get. Someone. Someone. Somebody. Sorry, English. Okay. Uh-huh. Someone something I meant to say. Someone something. Sad in English gets. People. <laughs> okay. Two weeks. Uh -uh. Here's the problem. You need a base bar. Two. Yeah, two. And you need you need it to in be infinitive. Calm. You need it in infinitive. Okay. Studying English gets people to become to get to be higher. <laughs> Studying English gets people to be closer to their dreams. One step closer. Gets them to be closer to their dreams. Okay. And here's a challenge for you. Okay. Working overtime. Makes makes you makes you earn a lot of money. Totally. Brushing your teeth at night. <laughs> Brushing your teeth at night helps. It helps your mouth being health. Okay. Healthy. Yeah. Healthier. Healthier. Mm -hmm. Healthier. Uh huh. Drinking coffee before bed. Johnny, come on. 
Luis. Getting up early, teacher. Getting up early with help you not get caught the traffic. Wait, wait, wait. Getting up early will help you know to get you caught the avoid. You know, get, Ada. avoid Oh, uh -huh. We'll help you avoid traffic. Avoid traffic. Perfect. Got it. Getting up early will help you avoid traffic. Let's see. Let's review. Can can you change the, the tense? Yes. Getting up early will help. Causative verb in the future. Who? Someone. You. The verb in base form. Avoid. Excellent. Like it. What about drinking coffee before bed? Ivan, Luis, Juan Francisco, Andres Giovanni. Irwin. Uh, reading books or oh, what? Wait, okay, look at the example. I want you to continue the sentence. We, we're missing this too. Oh, okay, this drinking coffee before bed makes you don't sleep. Uh -huh. makes you lose you. oh my god i'm so dyslexic stay. right now stay okay makes you stay awake all night long <laughs> excellent right drinking coffee before bed makes you stay awake all night long not speaking in your english class Makes you don't let no makes you don't no. makes you miss. But think about another causative verb. Doesn't ah negative with negative. Okay, not speaking in your English class doesn't let you learn. Doesn't let you move on. Necesito empezar a ver dos cosas en ustedes. Ojo con eso, que esto les va a servir mucho para moverse de, de un estado de, de, un nivel, de un estudiante básico a un estudiante más avanzado. Uno, en inglés no es necesario solo ocupar los auxiliares para negar. Puedes iniciar una oración ocupando la negativa nada más. Investiga un poco más de eso. Puedes ocupar otras palabras que signifiquen algo negativo. ¿Qué palabras puedes usar que, que signifiquen algo negativo aparte de don't, doesn't, never, never, neither, neither, nothing? Ah, wait, 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 Yeah. Okay. Neither. Uh huh. Miss. And so on. Okay. As well as the point is look for um, synonyms. Synonyms, not just for words, but for phrases. You can find synonyms for phrases. What other synonym do you know for move on? It's forward. Maybe. Continue. Continue. Doesn't let you improve. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, because first you're thinking about the action, move. Mm -hmm. But moving on, move on is superar. Ah, reach. Overcome. Fernando, your ex-girlfriend, move on, move on, move on with your life. She's happy. The toxic is happy. Go on. Her birthday was yesterday. Forget her. Okay. <clears throat> okay. You got it, right? You got the idea, right? Look for yes. synonyms. Okay. That's my advice. Take it. It's very important. Okay. Let's go in groups. I need you to get a topic and start thinking about it. Healthy, health, health, studying languages. 
making a lot of money, painting your house. This could be your subject. Okay, what does it make? What does it let? What does it get someone to do? Think about it. Try to make five sentences in groups. Five sentences in groups using causative verbs. We have four causative verbs. But what happens when you use make and get? Get this with the meaning to use two. No, no, no. What What is the use? What is the purpose of using make and get? Ah, uh, like uh, obli no, it's like a obligation. Good. Uh, You're forcing someone to do something. And what happens when you, you use help and let? More feeling. So like allowing, right? Allowing, mm -hmm. you're allowing something to happen, okay? Don't forget that sense, okay? And let's make five sentences per group. We're only having four groups of five people. Let's go. Same, say me again, please, teacher. Thanks. Okay, I'll do it right now. No aceptes el primero, porfa. Okay. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Good night. So you have to do a set. Ok, come on guys, five sentences, vamos a hacer cinco oraciones nada más, ok, el reto es hacer una negativa por lo menos, vamos a usar causative verbs, traten de usar los cuatro, ok. Bien, una recomendación para que no se estén matando mucho discutan la gramática incluso si quieren en español háganle entender a los compañeros el que ande un poquito perdido o tal vez te ha quedado algún vacío entonces si explicas un poco lo que has entendido entre todos hacemos una idea general de cómo formular la oración y empezamos a crear los cinco ejemplos Dos cosas que tienen de reto. Uno, usar eh, gerundios como sujetos. Lo que estábamos viendo, ahí están los ejemplos en el WhatsApp. Y la otra, eh, usar una negativa con, con verbos causales. El punto es usar los cuatro verbos causales, hacer cinco oraciones y que los sujetos sean gerundios. ¿Bien? Me interesa mucho que discutan entre ustedes. No, mira, pero esto es así. ¿eh? ¿Qué te parece este, este sujeto? ¿Ok? Ok. Eh... Oh. Guys, guys. Good. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe. Listening to advice, you can. Okay. 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 Let me share all the desktop for you. Okay. 
Okay, we can read the, the examples about. Uh, Le decía al grupo anterior que lo que me interesa ahorita es que ustedes entiendan la gramática. Discutan la gramática, vean los ejemplos, cabal lo que dice Fer, pero me importa mucho más que ustedes sean capaces de discutir entre ustedes. Mira, según entiendo, número uno, vamos a ocupar sujetos con gerundios, o sea, ING, ¿verdad? Ok, uh -huh. vamos a hacer por lo menos una negativa. Ok, uh -huh. y el, la meta principal es ocupar los cuatro causative verbs, ok. Okay. Tener un, una negativa, por lo menos. So, eh, eso, ajá, pero entonces, ¿cuál es la estructura? ¿Y por qué el teacher es ocupando ver, eh, sujetos con gerundio? Ah, si ves los ejemplos de, de la fórmula ahí que hemos puesto, make, some, verb in base form, por ejemplo, ¿dónde está el sujeto? Right. Mm. The, yes, the, the subject. It's not, uh, it's not implicit. Yes, Right. So think about it. Try to do, do your best. Pero el punto de general, chicos, me, ahorita no me importaría que hablen español, sino que discutan entre ustedes para llenar esos vacíos gramaticales que han quedado con este tema. Okay. 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 Please. Thank you. Okay. Eh, vengo con el mensaje que les he estado dando a todos. Me importa mucho que discutan entre ustedes, no que cada uno diga, ah, bueno, yo voy a ocupar let, yo voy a ocupar make, tú ocupas help, yo tú ocupas, uh, ¿qué era el otro? Get, make, let, help. Ok, no, sino que les expliquen entre ustedes, comparta uno su pantalla si puede y, y empiecen a pensar, ok, reto número uno, ocupar gerundios como sujetos. Número dos, ocupar los cuatro verbos causales, o sea, cuatro, hacer cinco oraciones, pero ocupar los cuatro verbos causales. Y el tercer reto sería ocupar una negativa, hacer por lo menos una negativa de las cinco. Um, ¿Cómo lo vas a hacer? Pues habla con tus compañeros. Sí, no, hombre, mira, yo entendí que okay, primero ve el sujeto y como estamos ocupando ING, el, el verbo es una situación. ¿Ya? Playing the guitar makes you feel like floating. For example, singing karaoke. Ajá. Singing karaoke. Makes. Oh, makes. <laughs> makes you. Oh, makes me. Makes me. Feel. Makes me feel. Oh, okay, makes me feel. Mm -hmm. Like a rock star. <laughs> like a rock star. You got it. ¿Ves qué fácil es? Ok. Good. Ahora, si sí les ruego que si alguien tiene un vacío aún con esa gramática, lo discutan entre ustedes y miren, bicho, yo no sé qué estamos haciendo, a ser sincero, chis. Aquí la cosa es tener claro cómo es la gramática, ok. Me voy a quedar acá, si necesita mi ayuda, just call my name. Just call my name and I'll be there. Ok. Can someone share Um, let me look the manual. Julie, do you have the page ready? No. Me. Yep, but you were like, no. do you have the page ready? Let me see. Okay. Number, what is that page? Look it. 28. Well, I have here the verse and let me see. Okay. But do you think there is correct the sentence doing exercise? Helps improve your health. You're missing the uh, you're missing the someone. Uh, mm -hmm. making how did you say 
Okay. Doing exercise. Doing exercise helps you, you, maybe. Okay. Helps you? Improve your health? Totally. You got it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Help. We do with help. We didn't make with get, I think, that the, the difference. Um, positive verb do you understand how to use get get is the only one we uh, can we must use uh, the verb in the infinitive In other words, wet uh, plus two and base form of the verb. Let me allow something, something to happen. Let me see. Can Is someone give a sample with, with get? I have the negative my, sentence. My wife doesn't let me let me go to the party. <laughs> your wife, your wife. Can you repeat it? Okay. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> but my my wife my wife doesn't permit me. <laughs> Doesn't let let me let me doesn't let, let me, me go to the let party. me go to the party. In my confession with the husbands. <laughs> Poor of you. Risa le da Carolina. Poor man. Poor man. Yeah. Yes, I know, I know. A poor boy. I have another in negative form. Uh, not practicing to speak English will not make me speak fluently. Not practicing. Speak English. Mm -hmm. Will not make me. Will not. Make, make, make me uh -huh. Uh -huh. speak it. Speak fluently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, I, I, I think, but I don't know it's correct. Teacher. Teacher. I don't know if it is correct. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it is correct. Or, or, or I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. I don't know, my idea is clear, but I think uh, health and in my use, uh, first you identify activity or, or action, for example, studying, and then is the connect, is the connect, the connector uh, health or may, uh, why? is important or why you held uh, this activity uh, for what is the what the purpose. is necessary yeah what is the necessary for this uh, this this activity or this uh, what, what is the purpose what is the sense of making or doing this activity correct yeah, yeah it's do, all right why do you need it right okay it, the always the the bear juice in infinity or is uh it depends. it depends on what you're using i mean if no. you're oh you mean as a subject gerund yeah. as a subject ing subject is always an ing okay but it is necessary to use i uh, you they no you, you can do that too yeah. 
¿Sí? Estamos ocupando los gerundios como sujetos por ejercicio, nada más. Okay. Para re rellamar esa información, pero sí se puede ocupar cualquier sujeto. That's right. Ok, ok. okay. okay. Uh, it's correct. It's, it's correct. Uh, for example, working hard helps you fulfill your dreams. Fulfilling your dreams. Fulfilling your dream, dreams. Helps you, helps you fulfill or to fulfill your dreams. You fulfill your dreams. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Yes, it is correct. This is this is the, the structure. For the for this uh, for the, help help helps to you, or or make for make is just the base it's form okay. base okay. form okay okay I I clear the this topic it makes a difference no it makes a difference okay. Are you done? Uh, one, two, three, four. Misses a one. <laughs> okay, you're missing one. We are yeah. missing one, okay. Uh, Andres? Uh, mm -hmm. you, you have a, a, a Recording stop. Make. Uh -huh. Let person, let person take people. Um, teacher, and we can use to, or we can use being. I mean, to be or being, yeah. With what? Help? For example, yeah, help. Yeah, with help, you can do that. So, okay, saving money, money, money. Maybe saving money to take care of the future. Is that correct? Saving money. Make. We can use make or get. Make. Saving mm -hmm. money. Saving get. money can get you out of poverty. Uh, yes. <laughs> Teacher me. Okay. Hey, but wait, wait, where is the other verb? Can get you. Make. Make, make it out of, make it out of poverty. Saving money can get you make it out of poverty. Can get you. Can get make <laughs> can get you make it this lecture <laughs> my god yeah. Yeah. Make, make it, it out. my mind is exhausted oh uh, mine too make it out of poverty poverty You got it. Guys, that's right. Poverty with B. With B. With B. Mm -hmm. No, that's okay. Oh. Yeah. Make it out. Yeah, make it out. Uh, I. I Teacher, we have a question. A question. Uh huh. Uh, you you can use the, the verb in all the times. For example, I can use get. Maybe could be got if I I am speaking in past. Totally. Yes. Okay. That's what I told you. You can conjugate sentences. It's like a. Maybe dollar, dollar, dollarization got people to leave the, the column. <laughs> mm. 
Jadi bisa di sini dia. Kalam, masa. Kalam. Itu betul. Nase. Vamos a hacer otra cosa. Internet. Get shot. Internet dot child. Children. Nase. Dot. Internet dot. Dot children. No play. The internet. The internet. But people. Information about what? About the purchase. Purchase the. Sorry, you. No, go ahead. Information about the purchase, the capability of the production plant, and something like that. It's a lot of things for the budget. What part of the year do you use for the structure, the plan? Sorry, what did you say? Uh, but I, I remember that when I was working in a factory, they have a specific month or part of the year that they used to use to Made the budget. Yeah, create the, uh, the plan. The period. Uh -huh. Normally, the oh, for the next year, mm -hmm. normally it's between September and November. Okay. Yeah. Because you you need to be ready the next at the next next year. Yes, um, we need around six months to get the raw materials. That's why we started six months after making the plant. But that is that plan is for six months, one year. No. All the whole year or, or the whole three, year whole year Before, is uh, the whole year we made the forecast and then we are checking month by month the a little the execution yes in making some corrections to the the purchasing plan mm, yes yeah it's, it's interesting uh, do you consider the crisis that are we going to have? <laughs> yes. Um, this, this month we started uh, watching um, the crisis is, is getting gross. For, and we are thinking about the next uh three semester or maybe the semester the next semester is going to be the same that's why we are um working a lot in that way i remember the last crisis that i had uh, helping in that that process i have never seen before uh, a planning uh, with a negative increase uh, that was for 2008, mm -hmm. the, the last crash that we had. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> they planning with that negative negative percent. 2008. Really? Was that mm -hmm. the decrease, not an increase? Mm -hmm. Decrease. Decrease. A, a decrease. Negative, a negative percent. Percent. Mm -hmm. They consider it. Yes, in, in 
this moment we are in the, what do you say, in the sentido contrario? In the opposite sense. Ah, the, the, opposite, uh, the opposite sense, because we need to, to have the raw materials in the, in the warehouse. And that's why we are processing a lot because we don't know what is going to, to, to happen the next year. Nor, normally you have, you only have to, to no, you only need to have the two or three months of materials. Now we are planning to have five months in stock because um, you know what is Okay, okay, everybody's coming back. Okay, so since this class is about speaking, I want to hear your examples, the examples you made with your classmates. More than reading, I would like to hear you speaking. So I'll just go ahead and um, think about a number. And I will say number 11. Juan Francisco Enriquez Gonzalez, okay. Can you please read one of the examples of your classmates and you, you know, one of the examples you made? Just read one of the sentences. If you didn't take you didn't take notes, ask help to your classmates. He was with me. Okay. Uh, uh, do you do you want to to ISK? Hmm? Do you want to take uh, Juan Francisco, you didn't take notes. Yeah, he didn't take notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye. He did. He did. Okay. Okay. I, 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 uh, I will read. I'm going to read. Uh, the first lack of employment in El Salvador makes people leave the country to get new opportunities. That was very clear. The first part. I'm sorry. Lack of employment. Lacking, okay, yes. Hmm, so the audience. Okay. Lacking of employment makes Salvadorians leave the country. Okay. Yes, that is that is the third sentence. The second is uh, I can get enough money to buy a house. Hmm. Okay, um, someone that helps here. Uh, let me see, Johnny. What do you think? Does this comply? 
with the rules. Is this sentence okay, Johnny? Okay, so what is this? We need a subject. Then we need get, right? But in this case, it's a negative. So can't, cannot. So get, the causative verb, enough money, someone, something. Yes, this is something. I can't get enough money. And then we have the infinitive. And get goes with an infinitive. So very good. That sounds very good. Very nice. Thank you, Fernando. Thank you, Juan Francisco. Can you choose someone else from another group? Someone that was not on your group, Fernando. Okay. Uh, uh, Elvin. Okay, Elvin, give me one of your examples. Is to, uh, go, go, go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, working hard helps you fulfill your dreams. Okay, what's the subject? Exactly, working hard. Causative working hard. verb, causative verb, cause, causative verb, I'm sorry. Someone, fulfill. Very good, a verb, complement. Ada? Is you eat, eat healthy, you will get less sick. Wait, 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 if you... Eat healthy? you will get less sick. Mm. Are you saying less thick? Thin. Like that? Sick. Sick, teacher. Oh, less sick. Yes. If you eat healthy, you will get less sick. Okay, can we agree? Is this all right? Uh -huh. Is this all right? Grammar, grammar, grammar. Uh, I think that we have to use an uh, infinitive. Okay, how will you do it? Sounds like a. I mean, the sentence. The sentence is fine. It. This is second conditional. Yes, it's the second okay. conditional. I'm sorry, first conditional. First. First conditional. Uh huh. It's present action that will affect in the future. Yes. So this is a first conditional sentence. Okay, if you get yourself to eat healthier, you'll get less sick. Do subject causative verb, someone, infinitive. Do we agree? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, just don't forget that structure that this is the way you use um, causative verbs. Okay, Adita, can you select someone else? Solo para estar claros, esta oración está bien. Es el primer, no, me... es el primer condicional. El segundo sería el um, causative verb, verbo causal. Yes, Adita. A number? Número 20, teacher, no, no um, sé el nombre. 20. Suleima, 20. Is Suleima with us? Is Suleima among us tonight? <laughs> among us. Is, that, is she among us? So, uh, no, I don't see her. Another number, Ada? Elvin, choose someone. Miguel? Mike no. is not here too. Yeah, Mike is not with us. He's not among William. us. William? William Alexander is among us. Is he among us? Yes, William Alexander, wake up. Turn on your video. It's okay if you are at La Barracuda or I don't know. That's fine if. Yeah, look at the cap. What, 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 what did you. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my God. Come on, William. Okay. Did you make sentences with your group? Oh, no. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, someone else who wants to share an amazing job, an amazing sentence that you made in group. Me okay? Among. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, some new video games. Let players try it before launching to the market. That's from the book, right? No. Nope. <laughs> okay, let players try them. Try it. Try it. Before launching. The wait, wait, market. some new video games. You're talking in plural. Let players try. try. Yeah. Oh, try, try them. It sounds better. Try them. Try okay. them before. Launching to the market. Before being launched, or oh. before they launch them, or before being launched. Okay. Oh, being launched. Launched. To the market. Okay, passive voice. Before being launched, being launched to the market. Okay. I think we're clear or clearer with causative verbs, always practice this. This is very important. Let me do the attendance because I forgot, I think. Did I do the attendance? No. No, right? No. Okay, it's 9.09. Okay. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Give me a minute. Um, staying with Andres Giovanni Valdez Portillo tonight. Ten minutes. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez Juan Francisco Enríquez González Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura Present teacher Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta Present teacher Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero Present Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Jocelyn. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. 
Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Bien. Y sale Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. En Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, we're 20 tonight. Let's move on. So, I did that again. Okay, on page 34, we need to complete the exercise on page 34. What brands, but first let's remember this little topic we talked about yesterday. Um, we talked about, well, we said, we said that brand awareness is the ability of customers to identify your brand by its attributes. So talking about the attributes of your product, your brand, how do you make a customer recall your brand on top of others? Can you give me an example of a product that comes to your mind? Most of the time, for example, when you're thirsty, be honest. When you are thirsty at lunch, what is the first option to drink? Crystal. What? Crystal. Crystal? Crystal water. Yeah. Water. Water. <laughs> oh, come on. You're so healthy. Coke soda. Coke. Okay. Be honest. Yeah. You can beer. say drug. Drug. The drug. A lot of beer. A lot of beer. <laughs> okay. I can, you know, I don't know. I don't drink. Okay. I don't drink. Really. And I don't know how there's people that every Friday in, at La Tiendita here in my neighborhood, they're always there. The same guys drinking beers at La Tiendita. They're just talking, you know, having conversations, listening to music on their cell phones. And I'm like, every Friday, I don't it's know. It's not beer, it's friendship. Yeah, I, exactly. That That's a good point, but is it, is it necessary for you to drink a beer? I don't know. Anyways, so how do you make it? I mean, you think about water, okay, you think about Coke. Why do you have that brand in your mind all the time? <laughs> There's no brand. It's our chat, a teacher. Okay. <laughs> we, we talked about brands with no name, right? Okay, Cebada. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about, okay, what is the first thing that you find appealing when you want to eat at night with your family? What is the first thing that comes to your mind? The first brand. Pupas. Pupas? <laughs> really? That's, we are so Salvadorian, right? Yeah, me too. You go like, no, uh, maybe not all days, but not every day, uh huh. But not every day, but we in weekends. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Today was today was Friday of pupusas. Every Friday is pupusa Friday, right? Any other product? I mean, something that you think of when you go like ah, pupusas. We always eat pupusas. Come on. Second option. It's <laughs> Pizza. Chicken. Pizza. China. 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 Tacos. Yeah. Tacos? Really? La Panda. Calaca? Panda? Yeah. yeah. Hey, is Panda good? I don't know. Yeah. Mm. No, it's better China. Okay. It's better El Diamante Chino. Yes, or the one don't. <laughs> oh, come on. I live in uh, Honduras. Near, near to Honduras. 
Yes, and there is a, a Chinese restaurant, but uh, they are really Chinese. Real Chinese people, Real like Chinese. the like El Diamante Chino, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's very, very good. Yeah, they're very, very good. good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, uh, tortas from Ellipse. They're tacos. delicious tacos. tacos. No, I prefer I prefer uh, tortas than tacos. I don't know. Okay, so why do you have that brand in your mind all the time? Why do you recognize their logo? Their ad, you know, on, on, on the street? Colors. Colors? Yeah. So if I'm wearing a, a black and red shirt? Pizza. Pizza? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, that's black? No. Black, no. red, and white. Roy Lee. Yeah. Ro Roy Lee? Yeah. Oh, 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 I remember. I remember, Roy Lee. <laughs> I, I, had a, I had a friend. I had a friend, a Chinese friend. He was very old. I, oh, my God. So many memories. So many good memories. Come on. Okay. What if I'm wearing... A uh, blue and white shirt. Uh huh. Really? You want to see the the national team? The national <laughs> select. Yeah, the national uh, soccer team. Okay. Uh, I was thinking about yeah, yellow yellow shirt with blue letters. You know. You got it. Yeah. I think. By the way, Heidi, yeah, we I relate more the yellow with Cuscatlan than with your competitor. The other way. I don't know why they changed their logo. I think that's not good. That's not good competition, I guess, or that's how do you call that? Illegal competition. I didn't like this that. Leal. This uh, leal. Unloyal. Yes. Unfaithful. Mm -hmm. Unfaithful. Unfaithful mm -hmm. competition, yeah, it wasn't good. I don't know if that was possible. You know, I don't know why they did it. They look like you, and that's not okay. Really? <laughs> Hasta el punto que la última vez que fue sacar dinero me equivoqué de cajero y me tiré del cuchetlán en ese cajero. Really? Y me di cuenta hasta después cuando vi el cargo de cinco dólares. Oh my god! Like, What the... my mistake? Anyways. It is what it is. So, yeah, there are things that make brands stick to their customer's mind. The color is one of them. The video yesterday talked about this. There's one key, a key factor, and it's emotion. Emotion. If you get your customers feel identified with your mission, the vision of your company, they will love your product. And sometimes, even if they don't like your product, they will still support you. Am I right or wrong? You're yes. right. Even if they don't need, even if they don't need the product, right? They're gonna go like, I'm gonna help this guy. He's helping others, so let me help him. That's a good way, okay. Now, brand dominance. What was brand dominance? Who remembers the order? Yeah. <laughs> Five, four, one, three, two. What? What? Go again. Repeat. I didn't hear you. Five. Okay. So number one is five. Customers don't recognize your brand. Okay, five is, yes, number one. Four. Second the second one is number four, brand dominance. Customers can't recall any brand, but yours for a particular product category. Okay. Who dominates the Salvadorian market? In beers, Pilsener. Pilsener. Who's the strongest competitor 
of Pilsner in El Salvador. Regia. <laughs> Regia, really? Cheaper. I don't know. I don't know. And the more, yeah, more of the people. Golden. Rather than. Golden is the third place. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay, give me another product. Another product that dominates the market on its uh, line of business in the niche of market. Well, what? Close. Close. Close, like closing the door, Alex. Close. Close, close. huh? In El Salvador, yeah, close. close. Yeah. Imperio USA. Simon. <laughs> Not really, really Imperio USA. I go, I go to Imperio USA. You're right. Shopping center. Shopping center. Shopping center. Hey, what's better? Shopping center. <laughs> I don't know. Shopping center, yeah. Yeah. I have more quality. Close. High class. High class. Well, close. Okay. That's good. High heels. High heels too. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh my God. No. Okay. Another product. I mean, close is so why you know but who, who really in reality who dominates the market in closing girls what comes to your mind okay i'm gonna give you a thousand dollars girls where do you want to go buying clothes five four three two you can go to Siman or you can go to Miyaboga. It depends on what you want to buy. Okay, it depends on the occasion for the clothes. Mm -hmm. I, 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 will, I will say Prisma Moda too. I will say Prisma Moda. It's Siman as well, right? But mm -hmm. yeah, most people is going to, to Prisma Moda. I will say Bershka. Bershka, really? Yes, it's a... Very famous store here in the South. Depends on the age too. You can go to Sarah. Yes, Sarah. it depends on the age. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll go to Vershka. I, I, I heard many times. Where's the store? In Metro? I, I, I work yes, in I there. Did you work there? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, it's in Galleria. In, in Galleria. In Galerias, okay. Galeria. I'll go to Galerias. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I think these are the key factors. People to recall your brand and have dominance on the market. These two. Recognition. Uh, if you want to be recognized by your brand, I will say that you have to do a lot of charity. If your brand, if you want your, your brand to be known, recognized, you have to do charity or have a lot of presence. Listen, because it's not the same. Correct me, Haiti. Correct me, everybody, if I'm wrong. Um, Elvin, I don't know, Luis, if I'm wrong on this. But to have market dominance is different than being a popular brand. What I'm saying is you can have presence in a country you can have presence in a country, being all around the country. But do you dominate the market? I repeat, you are all around the country, okay? Your brand, your company is all around El Salvador. But do you dominate the market? Not necessarily, teacher. Not necessarily, right? Why, no. Erwin? Because the participate in the market is the more important. You sell. Maybe in the position in the mind, you can be with the with the customer, but if the customer don't buy, yeah, this is the problem. If customers don't buy your product, you don't have dominance. For, Forget it. Totally. But 
the participate the most important participation participation, participation. Yeah, yeah you're totally right i hope you understood guys the more you sell the more you dominate the market so next step per work what brands are top of mind for you for your classmates complete the chart with your own information then interview a classmate and compare your answers what are examples of ice cream produced locally <laughs> what's the name of a company a computer company identified by a particular fruit okay so you have to interview your classmates you can make your own questions okay look at this example can you explain what a kleenex is what's your favorite movie theater and so on okay you'll have 10 minutes for this activity it's very simple but i want you to come up with more questions Okay, don't stick to this. Make more questions to your classmates. This is page 34 of your workbook. Oh, come on, teacher. Come on, guys. Wake up. Come on, come on, come on. Teacher, please. I read a group. You need a group. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me one second, Sandrita. Where are you? Here you are. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Wendy, Roberto, let's go. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Okay. Hmm. What are examples of ice cream produced locally? Um, Rio Soto. Rio Soto, uh, Boston. No, 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 Mellow, no, 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 Mello. Hearing that brand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Get it. Sorry. Uh, what? No, no, no. Sarita? No. Sarita. Sarita is from Guatemala, I think. Um, yeah. No, no, no. From Guatemala. No, 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 no. I think they produced out of the country. Okay. Um, yeah. Sin rival. Sin Rival. Yeah, Sin Rival. From Santay. Ah, oh, sí? Sin Rival. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not from Santay. <laughs> Santana. Nunca le digas un Santaneco sí. o Santana. Sí. O Santay. No. Santay. Sí, Santa yo, yo tengo, <laughs> mañana tengo vamos para Santay. Para Santana. Tengo una compañía de trabajo que le, le duele que le digan así. Santana. Porque ella, ella es Santaneca, sí, de, de pura sangre. Me too. Ah, you too. <laughs> so, no, don't do that. Carlos Santana. Then. Yeah, Carlos Santana. That's right. Santa Ana. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, another brand of ice cream. Ice cream. I don't. I don't know. Mm. Another, no, it's also mellow. Tasty? <laughs> no me suena, pero creo que sí. Yo creo que lo he escuchado. 
sorbete es tasty. 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 Ah, sí. Uh -huh. With Y, tasty with Y. Tasty. Um. No hay mucho, la verdad. Es a few. Es un producer. Y unos que venden en cajas. ¿Cómo se llaman? Las sombrillitas. No, no, hay un sol... Río Soto. Sí, eso ya lo mencionaron. Ah, sí, sí. Beer, beer Brand, marca pajarita. Beer Brands. Okay. The next question. Uh, what is the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? That is easy. Apple. Apple. Blackberry. <laughs> mm, uh, no, no, it's in this. It's not in me, the logo. I think just me, okay. Apple. Yes. That's yeah. it. That is okay. Oh, uh, can, yeah. you can you explain what a Linux is? Yes. What do I mean, Linux? Linux. It's like a wipe. It's a different categories of wipes uh -huh. to, to clean mm -hmm. for different uses. Nicholas. Mm -hmm. Nicholas. Wipes. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite? What is the answer? Linux. Uh, manufacture. What? Uh, pipes. Oh. Manufactured. Manufactured. Mm -hmm. That, let me. What uh, I haven't seen that they represent they're identified with the fruit. Ah, sorry, I missed the huh? I listened the computer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh huh. <clears throat> What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, um, Computer company identified by, by a particular fruit. Only Apple. Apple. Just mm -hmm. Mac mm -hmm. computers. Yes, yeah, only that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last one. Uh, what's your favorite movie theater? Cinemark for me. Cinepolis. Mm -hmm. Cinema. 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 Yeah. Okay. Multi cinema. Multi cinema. Does it exist yet? Yes. It still exists. Really? Yeah. That was your. That was the first. The first legal job of your teacher. Really. <laughs> I used to sell the hot dogs on a Wednesday. Do you remember Wednesdays? Two dollars to get in and watch a movie. Two dollars the ticket. And I used to be the, the guy preparing the hot dogs. <laughs> that was crazy. Nice. For two years, I think I worked there while I was on high school. And you could watch the movies or not? <laughs> Uh, yes, if I wanted, I could stay after my shift watching a movie. That's right. Or, That's 
during my lunch, but my lunch was like 15 minutes, I think, or 30 minutes, I can remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, or we used to watch the movie for the first time, you know, before no one else in El Salvador could watch the movie. Mm -hmm. At 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. after cleaning all the the rooms, you know, or or the whole movie theater was clean, then we we didn't want to go home, so we were like, "Hey, let's watch a movie." You know? That was really nice. Vanilla Sky, Tom Cruise, Penelope Cruz. I was the first one in El Salvador to watch that movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, try to make your questions. What's the name of, and then name a brand that comes to your mind, you know, something that, that is very present in our country. And we did already, we finished with the four <gasps> questions. Oh yeah, with the four questions. Now make your own questions. Mm. Oh, Haiti. What's the first? What are the examples I can product locally? You said Monopoly? <laughs> I don't like that game. <laughs> my, my, my son loves it. And he asked me, mom, let's play, let's play. You'll be the bank, you'll be the bank. Forget it, I said. I spent <laughs> life playing to be the bank. Okay, are we done? Yes. Okay. Did you make your own questions? That did it, okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see. So what are examples of ice cream produced locally? Sin rival in Santa Ana. Sin rival in Santa Ana. You what? Are delicious uh, ice cream in Santa Ana. Is that delicious ice cream in Santa yeah. Ana? Yeah. Another one? Produced locally. Come on, guys. Rio Soto. Everybody <laughs> says Rio Soto. Uh huh. Boston Pops. Pops? Or Boston, creo que se llama. Boston. Pops. Boston. Boston. Wait. Is Boston and Pops here from El Salvador? I guess. <clears throat> Pops is, is from Costa Rica. Yes, uh, in the, many years ago, it's a franchise. Franchise? franchise. Their franchise? Their yeah, franchise? Yeah, the, the franchise from Costa Rica. Uh -huh. But now, the pop, the boat, the system of comestibles. They bought Sistemas Comestibles. They and bought then... Pops. Pop. In the own, the own mark in El Salvador, in the name is Boston. So wait, the, the brand in El Salvador is Boston. Boston. They yes. renamed 
the rename the the top two poster. They reinvented. They yes. reinvented the brand. Yes. That's the term in marketing. Yeah, they reinvented the brand. Wow. I didn't the owner, know that. The, the owner is uh, Fito Salum. Uh, Fito Salum is the owner? Yeah. yeah. Really? Sistema Conexil is, is a company about the, oh, about, oh, yeah, about yeah. the industrial, uh, industrial food. Industrial food. Is he the owner of uh, Mr. Donuts? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Also, Pepsi. Holy um, mother of God. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's enough. That's enough. Don't worry. I'm poor. I'm poor. Yeah. Enough. No, 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 no. Okay. La joya. La joya? Oh my God. Salume. That's enough humiliation for me. That's enough humiliation. Alianza. For Alianza, me. Oh. Alianza. He's the owner of Alianza. Yes. Uh, too. I feel poorer. Aguila. But, but. He had a pro. He had a mistake in the in the business. What? Nash. Oh, hey, but Nash was good. But in that moment, is without the market. Oh. Yeah. Only, only this is one mistake that I know about the. the only one. And there's another mistake. Yes. Uh -huh. mistake. He's not taking advantage of. Well, he's doing it of uh, how do you call this plaza here in El Salvador del Mundo La Campana? He's not taking good advantage of that place, La Campana, you know. I know he, he could do better. He could do a lot better in that uh, mall, that mini mall that he has there, La Campana. Okay, let's move on. Can you explain what a Kleenex is? Someone, what is a Kleenex? Disposable it's a tissue. paper towel. Disposable tissue. Tissue? Mm -hmm. Wait. Paper tissue? Paper tissue. Mm -hmm. Why paper tissue? Why do you have to specify? Because of the brand, maybe? No. Why? Translate tissue. Look for the meaning of tissue. Ah, uh, no. And then how do you say yeah. napkin? No, that's napkin servietta. servietta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Hank handkerchief, handkerchief. Yeah, handkerchief. That, that's that's disposable handkerchief. No, is it? You say disposable paper tissue. Yeah, that that's crazy. Huh? But you have to be careful with that. Wow. Okay. What do you do with it? What Please is it? Clean. You clean your yeah. face. Face. No. Okay. You sneeze your nose. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's good enough. I think that's a not a good example. Can you explain what a pamper is? Can you explain what a pamper is? Wipe. Is it a wipe? Yes. Do you know that pamper is a brand, right? Yes. Okay. What's the right word? <laughs> and with this, this exercise is proving something. I will let you know in a minute. Disposable pañal. A disposable diaper. Diaper, okay. Okay. Underwear for babies. Underwear for babies. Disposable underwear for babies. That's what it is. But you're not going to go to the store and say, hey, can I get a package of disposable underwear for babies? And they will go like, what brand do you need? Oh, Pampers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Huggies. You see? Okay. What's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? Apple. 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 Oh, Pear. Yeah. Pineapple. <laughs> Pineapple. <laughs> that would have been better. 
<laughs> okay, guayabo. Guayabo, come on. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Guayabo, Salvadorian computers. <gasps> no, it's in Cuya. What would be the fruit? If the computer was Salvadorian, what would be the fruit? Cincuya. Cincuya, what is that? Um, I'm not Salvadorian. Fruit. It's a fruit from El Salvador, Cincuya? Yeah, I'm reading here in Google. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so no, okay. yeah, it's a it's a growth from Salvo, but it's not in an, another uh, state or uh, here in Chalatenango is it's I, common. I, I, yeah, it's common. Oh, like Sunsas or yeah, it's similar to the Sunsa. So cool, yeah. I'm, oh. I'm from San Miguel, but, but here in in Chalatenango, I taste it. Oh. Interesting. Okay, see, so why do you think about that computer when you see a bitten apple? Okay, what's your favorite movie theater? Come on. Cinepolis. Cinepolis? Multiplaza, Cinepolis Multiplaza. What's the other brand? Cinemark. 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 What's better, by the way, Cinepolis or, or Cinemark? For me, Cinepolis. I don't know. Wait, but Cinepolis uh, is in La Gran Vía, right? What is in La Gran Vía? Cinemark. 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 I always, Cinemark. I used to, I, 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 used to, I used to go mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Multiplaza, okay. In Cinepolis. In Cinepolis. Cinepolis. Mm -hmm. Y en Galerías. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what what is this proving? Um, what is this proving? The question that I made to you: What is a pamper? Even in the United States, is very common to hear. For example, um, here in El Salvador, we typically say, "Do you have isomil? Are you feeding your baby with isomil?" Americans say formula. Where's the baby okay. formula? Where's the baby formula? Does she like the formula? Formula, it's not milk. And for example, uh, okay, don't get offended, but every time I, I grew up, I grew up with girls during my uh, youth, when I was a teenager, I should say, when I was a teenager, I grew up with my cousins and um, they were all girls, you know, so every time they needed, they had their period, they used to go, Tony, by the way, my family calls me Tony, but I'm not Iron Man. I am not Iron Man. Okay? Stop. Stop it. I'm not Iron Man. Um, the thing is that, okay, I'm Iron Man. Um, they used to go, Tony, go to the, go, go to the, to the grocery store, go to the grocery store and get me some Kotex. Yeah. What's the name for those things? What is girls? What is the real name? Let's see the girls. How do you call that? It's not Cotex, right? Cotex is the brand. It's the brand. How do you call them? What's the real name? Feminine towels. Feminine towels. Johnny, good morning. Feminine towels. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yes, you, you can call them feminine towels or uh, sanitary. 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 sanitary towels. Yeah, oh. that's right. Then that's an example, okay? Uh, in Guatemala, they call sodas to the drinks. In Honduras, fresco. Fresco, right? and so on. So it's a, brands are into your mind. You, you get them into your mind. And that's the way it has worked for many years. Get me a sombrillita instead of get me a paleta, right? I don't know, those kind of things. Okay. So this is an excerpt. Yes. 
about the, this topic. And with this, we're going to close this topic. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about loyalty of brand. No, Look, what? <laughs> oh my God, it's Saturday again. Sorry, thank you. But yes, we're going to have an exclusive class tomorrow. Okay, and to talk about this. What? <laughs> Describe strategies to make a brand memorable, memorable, memorable. Hey, memorable, memorable. Okay, what makes a brand memorable? How effective is it to copy a business idea? <gasps> oh my God, can you copy a business idea? Uh oh, talking about the devil, talking about the devil. About 40 years ago, just listen, don't fall asleep, okay? Don't fall asleep. I only have six minutes for this. About 40 years ago, marketing strategists, all Al Rice and Jack to Trot, offered the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be the to be first into your prospect's mind, presenting a clear perception. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scotch tape, oh my God, Kleenex, Setox. It's no accident. They were also the first. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Markers know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position or organizational mission from someone else. It's so easy. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect's mind with the same perception you had hoped to create, you'll find it is hard to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Netflix will have never made it if Reed Hastings' idea had been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go-to place to rent movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Have you heard about this story, how Netflix started? The dispute, the dispute between Netflix and Blockbuster. Who remembers Blockbuster? William is like, what is Blockbuster, teacher? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no way. Jocelyn? Wow. No, I just read that supposedly that uh, application Blockbuster reject Netflix mm -hmm. in a meeting, supposedly. I, mm -hmm. I used to rent some movies in there. Yeah. It was amazing, right? Just going to Blockbuster at night to drop some BHS. What is BHS? You are too old. <laughs> Elvin, do you remember VHS? Elvin, do you remember VHS? The song of the Betamax. You remember Betamax? Oh my God. This is too old. Yeah, that's a very interesting uh, topic, guys. Blockbuster was going out of business. Do you know what's to go out of business? Yeah, going on bankruptcy, basically. They were. They were so close to go out of the market because they didn't want to renew. So this guy presented the idea to, to um, Blockbuster, you know, and he was like, hey, you know what? Why don't we rent the movies, but online with the internet? And he said, no. 
everything is going smoothly, you know, the business is growing, I'm opening more branches. Uh oh, okay, I'll do it, he said. And he started doing it and look at the result. Everybody else, and this is the problem. I, I found it as a problem and we should complain about this because now, now you have HBO, now you have Disney Plus, now you have Netflix, now you have, what else? <laughs> I don't know, a lot of different channels that you can watch only their content. Crunchy. You have to pay for each channel. Oh my God, every producer. And it's crazy. I mean, there's too much, too, too much, too many good things. So think about this. Um, read, read this excerpt again. Think about it for the next class tomorrow. Okay. Okay, guys. I hope to see you on Monday. And, por cierto, dos cosas. Uno, hay alguno que otro de ustedes que no ha terminado hasta la, uh, bueno, saben que terminen hasta la 4, unidad 4, no se preocupen. El examen final de Ellen, varios de ustedes ya terminaron todo, ya han terminado con 100 todos. O sea, wow, está fácil eso, no es la gran cosa en la plataforma. ¿eh? Um, ya entramos a la unidad 4, si lo notaron. Terminamos el módulo en tres días, es decir, lunes, ojo, lunes, miércoles, jueves, porque martes es todo, ¿verdad? Right. Ok, solo yes. quiero quedar claro yeah. con eso con ustedes. Si no han entregado documentos o les faltó algo, pónganse las pilas para que no los, no los dejen atrás. Y primero Dios, abramos de nuevo el, el módulo 4, ¿ok? Y terminamos el año aquí celebrando las, el día 24 de diciembre, ¿verdad? Right? Yeah. Ok. <ríe> Bien, señores, si toman, por favor, no vayan a manejar. Saben que ya son 4 o 5 años por más de 165 grados, creo, no con la cosa, ¿ok? Be careful, please. A la Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good night. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Thank you. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good night. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Um, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night. Sorry, guys. Irene Susena Cuellar Albanés. Present, good night. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante and Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy? There she is. Elvin, okay. Andres. How okay. are you? Uh, fine, teacher. Awesome. I heard you speaking this week. Very nice. So I'm not going to talk to you in Spanish tonight. <laughs> okay. okay. Just 10 minutes. Uh, tell me, mm. what have you been up to? Sir? What have you been up to? Uh, uh, I don't know. What does it mean? Really? 
No. ¿Qué has hecho? Uh, uh, yeah, the same, my same routine. The same routine, uh, just work and being at home. Just work and being at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Green goes, say, same old, same old. Eh, same old, same old. And what does it mean that? Exactly what you said, same thing as okay. usual, you know, every day, same thing. Okay. Okay. What's the most exciting part of your day? When I finish my job, my work, and I go. <laughs> really? Yes. Yes. Do you drive home or do you no, work? I, no, I I walk. I walk. You walk? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it close to your house? Yes, to only two blocks. Two blocks away. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Yes, I don't I am not in the traffic and I don't spend gasoline. Yeah. Gasoline? Gasoline, yes. Okay. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Do you like your job? Yes, I like. I have uh, 18, year, 18 years working. What? 18 mm -hmm. years working on the same place? Yes. Or is it mm -hmm. your own business? Uh, I I have uh, my job and I have a, a little business. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. What do you do? What What's your position or what's your kind uh, of job? I work in a city hall. City hall. City hall. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is that? The alcaldia. Oh, in the city hall. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. 18 yeah. years in the city hall of San Salvador? No, okay. in Chalatenango. Oh, in Chalatenango. It's a, a small town. Uh huh. Citala. Citala? Citala. Citala. Are you mm -hmm. are you native from Citala? Yes, I'm native. Really? Mm -hmm. How did you yeah. did you graduate from from the university? No. No. no? Okay. No. Uh -huh. Did you uh, did you ever go to the university? No, I no. just uh, high school. Mm -hmm. You just finished high school. I, I was know. wondering because I always wonder this: if you live in Usulután or Zacate here in in El Salvador how do you do with with the university right uh, it's, it's very difficult because it's very difficult. I, I have friends that they have to travel and como sería alquilar rent rent a house uh, or an apartment apartment yes and they have to do a sacrifice to finish their university i have a friend well he was my teacher at the university, uh, he works in in Minix, Exteriores, and and he used to tell us in the class how difficult it was, because he was from Sonsonate and it, there was no university in Sonsonate back then, so he used to to travel every day from Sonsonate by bus, by bus, and after the university, go back to Sonsonate by bus. It was crazy. And he said that once the boss left him, the last boss, he missed the last boss. So he stood sleeping on the street. He didn't have family members in San Salvador. No friends. No friends. He, he, had, he had to sleep uh, in the street. And he spent, after he graduated from Internacional Relaciones Internacionales or Foreign Affairs, he spent about five years knocking at the door of the Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores every day, every day, every week, I guess he was exaggerating, but yeah, every week. Hey, can I, can I work here? Hey, can I work here? Hey, can I work here? Like, can you imagine that five years? Oh my God. Yes. They, fi they finally said, okay, fine. Give us your resume. Go ahead. That's the worst part to the students. Imagine you are studying five years and then there's no job. You can't find a job. 
that's been the story of our lives. That's the story of our lives for Salvadorians. But mostly if you want to work for the government. Mm -hmm. But if you want to start your own business, if you, I don't know, if you work independently or with a private company, there's a chance that you can make it always. And there are good you know, things you can do. In Citalat, are there, by the way, are there any English academies? Uh, Citalat, no, but in San Ignacio, there's uh, the nearest town here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Like uh, five kilometers. Away? Uh -huh, away. There's, C there's one at the academy. Citalat. Uh -huh. I, I, Almost in Honduras. You're you're close to the border. I'm really? In the border. In the you border, are in the yes. border. Yes. In El Poi. Yeah. Maybe uh -huh. El Poi is El Poi? Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El Poi is más conocido. El Poi is a, is a neighborhood from Citala. But maybe for the border, you see more in the news and all that. Mm -hmm. The there is a, a city in Honduras, Ocotepec. Ocotepec. Uh -huh. It's only 10, 10 minutes, maybe. Uh -huh. Antigua Ocotepec. Antigua Ocotepec is in Canton. Do you, do you go to Honduras? Uh, before pandemic, I yes every weekend because there are many restaurants. I thought you were going to say there are many girls. Uh, yes, too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, oh my God, you're, you're, wow. We're so far away. Yes. I'm... Wow. So for that reason, I, I reached this opportunity to study English because if I have to travel, I don't have time. I can, yeah. maybe only weekend. But with the paperwork, you come to San Salvador, you have to bring the paperwork once a month, I guess. Wow. Yes. What yeah. about your other co-workers on the, on the city town hall? Uh, city hall? They begin with me, but only one or two models and they go out. Yes. They left. They left the, this course. Wow. But it's uh you have to do a sacrifice maybe if you want to learn but you're good you're speaking and that's really good wow. i have i have problems maybe in some pronunciation i have to improve and maybe i have problems in the listening because uh here uh well, well how to say it's very easy to me to, to for understand me? for me to understand to some people, but uh, American people speak very fast. And uh -huh. are there a lot of teenagers in Citala? Mm, yes, I think there are. Do are you do to, you to have an academy here? Not just no. there. Not just there. Like Palma, it's, maybe it's, it's just that there's a lot of cities, uh, small towns like that, like like Citala. Mm -hmm. And my dream is to reach these places, reach mm -hmm. places that nobody knows about. You know, where not even the boss reaches. Yes. That's a yeah. dream I I have always had since I was a kid. You know, I always wanted to help these people all the way there. You know. They cannot travel. They don't have to pay the boss, you know. Yes, yes. So, it's very difficult. But they have something very important, and it's the willingness. You know what is willingness? Uh, I remember that word, but in this moment, I don't remember the meaning. <laughs> La volu voluntad. La voluntad. Uh -huh. The willingness. So if you have willingness to achieve something, Mm -hmm. they are hunger they're hungry you know hungry they're needed 
necesitan de verdad aprender inglés. O sea, ¿te imaginas si desarrollaras algo ahí uh, con todos esos jóvenes? Imagínate que fueran 50, de los 50 que 20 aprendieran inglés. Uf, ellos aman vivir ahí, desarrollar el municipio prácticamente en dos años, tres años, ya estos bichos regresan y siguen la cadenita. I mean, esa sería una buena idea de desarrollo local. So, a ver qué onda, primero Dios. Ok. okay. okay. Thank you very much, Andrés. Rest. Hope Thanks you rest. You. Good night. Okay, teacher. Good night.